Dave, tell us about uh, scoring your goal today. Um, kind of just right place, right time. CJ won the first header off the set piece, and then goalie tried to come out for it. Dax kind of hit the ball across really quickly. <laughs> I whiffed on the first one that came across me. Went straight to Walker. He got it on frame. Uh, one of them on the goal line made a really, really good save. Just popped out to me and right place, right time, and finished it, luckily. Thank you. How would you, how would you see it? Yeah, I think from that goal, there was a little bit of uh, pressure relief for us. We were able to move the ball around a little bit more. Um, I dropped in the midfield. I got a ball from Alex, played Luke out wide, and um, I just, you know, from training with Luke over this time, I know he's a guy that you know, wants to take a player on and, and get the ball in the box. So just try to get into the box and all the credit to Luke for finding me. Um, and at that point, it's just instinct. And fortunately for me, it went in the goal. Thank you, CJ. That was actually Luke's first assist of his career. Uh, we'll now open the floor for questions. Uh, Drake, go ahead. Yeah, the question for both of you guys, I mean, I'm thinking back to the comeback in Kansas City. And you guys, you know, Dave, you started it. CJ able to get a goal control team. But what does this mean on a new level, historically, obviously, scoring the goals to get the first win in the stadium? Uh, yeah, um, I mean, yeah, it, it's interesting. Obviously, when you look at the sequence of goals in those two games, it's, it's similar, but everything else is very, very different. Um, I mean, first win in the stadium, and for us to be able to you know, generate so many chances in the first half and nothing quite go in. It could have been easy to get a little panicked and a little stressed out, but, uh, you know, that's what, at least for me, makes it really fun to be on the field with these guys is the, the pride in, in uh, the ability to stay hungry and uh, to push, e you know, push each other to, to our limits. And a goal like, you know, Dave's, that first one, people can say it's lucky, but that's a lot of guys being in the in the right um, uh, right spot at the right time and and truly just wanting it more. So I would have been happy with that in the win, but to cap it off with you know a, a dagger you know in the, at the last minute there, something that gets the crowd hype uh, and yeah for the first win here. I mean we're we're in history now. <laughs> Yeah, I think just the momentum difference is huge. I mean, we the first eight games we played on the road, it's just so easy to sit in, just take like chance after chance from other teams. We saw it in L.A., we saw it in a couple other places, and then the complete change in the first game against Philly, who's a top team in the league where we were on them the whole first half, um, and then this game where we were just pinning them in the whole game. It's just building more and more confidence, and if we keep doing these more and more games, I think we're just going to start getting better and better and just have kind of a swagger about us knowing, like, when we come into games here, we're, we're going to get results, and we need to keep capitalizing on those chances that we are creating in the first half. Thank you, both. Claudio. Uh, for both, uh, CJ, obviously because of the position and the field you play, you're always in a mix of things, you know, side here or whatever comes in there, even uh, build play or mm -hmm. set piece or whatever, and the same happens to Dave, even though he's a, he's a halfback. But my question goes this way. They took a long time fighting and fighting for goals, and now he's got two of this season all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> and the same thing. Uh, you were scoring so many in Nigeria, and then it went right for you, not because of your own fault. Mm -hmm. What's the feeling there? I mean, uh, in what's the mix in between feelings of, of Dave already being able to score twice and you coming back to a goal, which probably is the <laughs> uh, first of Well, thing. wasn't thinking about it until now. <laughs> like, so thank you. Uh, but... It's great. It's great to be able to have, you know, obviously as a forward, individually, you want to score all the goals. It's, it's almost the mentality that gets most forwards to, to this position or this level of play. However, as a teammate, to see when you look at the goal scorers in this first 10 games, to have it so spread out and to know, okay, at any moment, any player could be that difference for us. For a forward, it's, it kind of relieves a little bit of pressure there, too, you know, because even in the, the midst of all these games not scoring, I felt like, okay, one, we're always in positions to um, get something out of a game. Uh, and then the last two games, for me, I've seen more opportunities. I've found myself in spots I can look back at games and see, okay, maybe I was a split second uh, uh, too late there. And, and I think that's just from the nature of our schedule and how it started. Uh, but we're, we're, we got many more home games now and, 
it, it's it's really feeling like it's starting to click. So, just like in life, you know, when when these waves come, you just got to manage it the right way and uh, envision uh, the change and you know be ready when it comes. Yeah. to take EPS out, and then you had possession today. Um, did you feel at all like maybe it just wasn't going to happen tonight? And, and how much of a relief was it when you finally went back? Um. Yeah, definitely relief. I mean, if in the back of your head you are worried, is the same thing going to happen like did last week? Are we going to give away some stupid goal against the run of play or something like that? But I think it was maybe the 40th minute uh, in this game where I kind of noticed when they had the ball for a little bit, I was like, this is the first time I've been on top of my box defending. And that's just a testament to how well we've started these last two games. Like, we completely controlled the game, and it was only until the 40th minute where we were in, like, a defensive block for the first time in the game. And I think if we can keep playing this aggressively, keep getting guys higher up the field, keep pressing, uh, we're going to be a really hard team to beat. And the fans help so much in the stadium where it's just getting us – if you're even debating as like an outside back or someone like, should I step all the way to that guy? But if you just have the energy and the momentum of the crowd, we're just keep going, keep going. And I think it's going to help a lot. And the more we play here, the more confidence we're going to get, the more games that we can win, the monkeys off our back. We can just keep focusing on getting as many points as possible in these games coming up. And I don't know, I'm excited. We got, we got a long season ahead of us. We have time for one final question from Dean Sullivan, who's on the phone call. Oh, this question's for Dave. Dave, I know you're a big stat, stat nerd like myself. So this is the lowest uh, expected goals uh, performance that your opponent has put on you guys this year. Only your uh, third shutout so far this year. What went into the, uh, I guess, improvement defensively is, is a big part of it just being at home, I guess. But how do, how were you guys able to lock them down so well and, and obviously earn the clean sheet? Um, honestly, not too sure. A lot of it comes from the, the energy and work CJ and Hani and those guys are doing up top and just putting pressure on their center backs and not letting them get out easily and just kind of us cohesively as a team keeping them pinned in their half of the field. Um, they're going to create as, as little chances as possible. Um, and then, once again, just being at home these first two games has been a complete difference. Um, I don't know. I mean, even if we're in a low block defending, I'm sure even if some guy shoots it from 35 yards out, that's some sort of expected goals. But... I mean, I think that they only had five shots today. Um, I can't recall any, like, major chances. What was the actual expected goals? Like, 0.4, probably? Uh, Opta has it as, as 0.2. Uh, okay. American Soccer Analysis has 0.27, so. We'll take it. <laughs> what was what was our expected goals? Uh, 2.01. Uh, Okay. But yours doesn't, yours doesn't count to that for American soccer because <laughs> it's a rebound. So it's, it's even higher. It's 3.05 3 if you. If okay, you that makes more sense. Yeah. I was like, mine doesn't count, mine went in. <laughs> <laughs>